During nighttime, it shines brightest in the sky. And we call it the moon. Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of our Scientific Friday. I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey to understand the different things around us. Are you ready to join me on today's lesson? Come on! The moon is a large round object that circles Earth. It shines at night by reflecting the light from the sun. But did you notice when you observe the moon for several days? you will see that it seems to change its shape. For example, look at the following pictures. Have you seen this during nighttime? For today's lesson, we will explore the faces of the moon. In this topic, we will learn about the following. First, what are the faces of the moon? Second, why are there changes in the appearance of the moon during different times of the month? And third, what effect does the moon's gravity have on Earth? As we observe the moon, it seems to change its shape every day. However, the moon itself does not actually change shape. It only appears to change shape because the part of the moon that you see is only the part illuminated by the sun. For example, when the moon appears like a complete circle, then the entire moon is being illuminated by the sun. Another example is if only half of the moon is being illuminated by the sun, then you will see a half circle only. These different shapes of the moon are called faces. Let us know more about the faces of the moon. There are eight faces of the moon. These are New Moon, Waxing Crescent Moon, First Quarter Moon, Waxing Gibbous Moon, Full Moon, Waning Gibbous Moon, Last Quarter Half Moon, and Waning Crescent Moon. The phases of the moon start with New Moon. It is when the moon's disk is dark and invisible to us, because the moon is between the sun and the earth. Next is waxing crescent moon. It is when we can see only a silver of the moon's disk on the right hand side. When the moon has revolved to a 90 degree angle from the earth and sun on about day 7, it has reached its first quarter moon. We can now see half the moon while the other half sits in invisible shadows. The next phase at about day 10 is waxing gibbous moon, where we can see roughly three quarters of the moon. After roughly two weeks, the moon is now in position with the earth sitting between it and the sun. So, we can see its fully lit side as a full moon. Then we see waning gibbous moon. It is when we see roughly three quarters of the moon's disk. The left side of the moon is lit. Next is the last quarter half moon. Here, we see one half of the moon's disk and the left side of the moon lit. This is one quarter of the entire moon's surface. The last phase is the waning crescent moon, when we can see only a silver of the moon's disk on the left hand side. Now that we know the different phases of the moon, let us now study the moon's impact to our planet Earth. Did you know that the moon exerts a strong gravitational pull on Earth? Yes, it truly does. It is this gravitational pull that causes tides, the rise and fall of the water of the ocean. Usually, fishermen and ship captains schedule their activities based on these tides. Low tides can damage boats and ships. That is why fishermen and ship captains take their boats and ships in and out to the sea during high tides when the water level is rising. Without the effect of the moon's gravity, Earth's rotation would be faster. 
if Earth's rotation were faster, then the days would be shorter. Shorter days would result in colder temperatures on Earth because there would be less time for the sun to heat the Earth. For most living things like us humans, we need a warm weather for us to live and survive on Earth. Let us go back to the pictures that I have shown you a while ago and let us identify the face of the moon. Here is the first picture. Good job! This is what we call the waxing crescent moon. How about this? What face of the moon is this? Great! We call it last quarter moon. And the last picture, it is the... Excellent! This is the full moon. Good job, everyone! Before we end our discussion for today, let me share some facts about the moon. Did you know that the moon is believed to be 4.5 billion years old? the same age as the Earth. Can you imagine their ages? Another fact is that the moon has no atmosphere nor water. It only comprises of a rocky material heavily scarred with craters from meteorite impacts. Speaking of its appearance, why not try to observe the moon every night? Try describing its position and appearance. Post your observations in the comment section. I hope you learned a lot today and apply these learnings in your daily lives. Still, this is Teacher Janelle. Like this video and turn on the notification bell to hear more from me and other teachers at Teacher Vibal soon. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday and together, let us discover things around us. Because science is everywhere. Bye everyone!